Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this super awesome song called And The Day Goes On by Bill Wirtz, okay? So I'm like addicted to this song, it's super catchy, the chord progressions in the verse and the chorus is super awesome so I'm going to teach you actually both Pretty much everything because like uh, I want to teach you the verse and the chorus section is actually a repetition of those two alternating between that okay so here we go give you a preview of both sections so the verse section goes like this it's this part so it goes section okay I love that last bit the last bit is awesome the progression okay but anyways the other uh, section is the chorus section is the and the day goes on the and the day goes on that part okay like this okay check it out this part okay and then just repeats for that okay but anyways let's go ahead and learn it okay so breaking it up to parts to learn the first section, the uh, verse section, okay? So we're gonna break it up to four parts, so it's easy to learn. First part, right hand starts on the F sharp here, middle C's here for reference to go to the F sharp right here. So it goes four F sharps, one, two, three, four, and then A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F sharp, down to D sharp, down to C sharp. Okay, and that is the first part. One more time for this first part, so it goes like this. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F sharp, D sharp, C sharp. Okay, so it's quite a lot of black notes, so uh, it can be a little bit hard because the black notes are smaller than the white keys and it's easier to slip off it, okay? So you have to be very accurate with the um, playing, okay? So yeah, one more time, so it goes F sharp for four times, so one, two, three, four, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp. G sharp, F sharp, F sharp, D sharp, C sharp. And that's the right hand. Left hand, we have three chords for this first part. The three chords are, okay, let me see. All right, F sharp major is the first chord. F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Second chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. And then the third chord is F sharp major again. Okay, so with that in mind, so F sharp major, B major, and F sharp major. The two hands together goes like this. F sharp and F sharp major together, so it's together. G sharp and B major together, C sharp and F sharp major together, just like that. One more time, so it goes like this, together, together, together. And that's the first part. Moving on to the second part, second part right hand continues, it goes F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, just like that. So it's, it's kind of, you can see, the right hand, it has like really similar, actually in fact, it's like pretty much the same as the first part, it stops right at the G sharp, okay? It's even less notes than the first part for the right hand, okay? But anyway, yeah, remember it. So it goes four F sharps, one, two, three, four, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp. And that's the right hand for the second part, pretty simple stuff. However, the left hand, we have different chords here, sort of. The first chord is the same, F sharp major, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, whilst the second chord is different, it's C sharp major, which is C sharp, F, G sharp. All right, so with these two chords in mind, so F sharp major followed by C sharp major, the two hands together goes like this, F sharp and F sharp major together, so it's together. G sharp and C sharp major together. Just like that, okay, one more time, so it goes together. Together. Just like that. Now, okay, so so far back to back, the two parts we've learned in this session is play like this, check it out. Just like that. Okay, now moving on. The third part, something awesome happens because the third part is actually exactly the same as the first part. So we know it already, it just goes. Like that. Okay, so yeah. So far the three parts of learned would be played back to back like this, okay? With in mind three, the third part is the same as the first part, okay? So. Now moving on to the fourth 
and last part of this section before it repeats. This part is the harder part because a lot of core changes, fast core changes, and the right hand and uh, it's jumpy as well. So right hand jumps up to the B here. A sharp, C sharp, C sharp, D sharp, and then down to A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp. And that's it for the right hand. One more time, so it goes B, A sharp, C sharp, C sharp, D sharp, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp. Okay, just like that. Just like that for the right hand. Left hand, we have uh, six chords here, so quite a lot of chords because it's fast chord changes, okay? The six chords are, okay, the first one is B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. Second chord is first inversion of F sharp major, which is A sharp, C sharp, F sharp. And then third chord is D sharp minor, which is D sharp, F sharp, A sharp, or black notes here. And then we have a four note chord, is a G sharp seven chord, which is G sharp, C, D sharp, F sharp. And then we have another four note chord, this is an interesting chord, this is B major with C sharp bass, which is C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, B. I like this chord in this progression here because it gives this awesome kind of sound to it. Okay, and then the last chord, the sixth chord, is F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Just like that. One more time, so the six chords are B minor, first inversion, F sharp major, D sharp minor, G sharp seven, and B major with C bass, C sharp bass, sorry. Okay, and then F sharp major. Okay, so with those six chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. So it goes together, together, second C sharp and D sharp minor together, A sharp and G sharp seven together, G sharp and the um, B major C sharp bass together, F sharp, F sharp major together, just like that. One more time, it goes together, 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 just like that. Awesome stuff. I love this part. Okay. Hope this is your favorite part as well because this part is just awesome. I love this part. I keep saying that, but yes, that is true. But anyway, yeah, all you need to do is play this entire thing for two times, okay? So you just repeat it from the start. So I just recap it as well, just for the sake of it. So it goes. section love it okay now moving on to the other section this section section is shorter so it's not as hard okay so um let me see in fact we can actually even do the entire section because uh it's actually not that difficult all right so this section is played twice uh i played it in the preview only once though but anyways so it goes like this it goes a sharp c sharp d sharp c sharp a sharp g sharp f sharp up to b a sharp G sharp, F sharp. Okay, actually now we're gonna just do it as two parts, okay? This is the first part, okay? So it's easier to learn. First part, one more time, it goes A sharp, C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp. B, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp. And that's the first part for the right hand, okay? Left hand, we have five chords for this first part. The five chords are F sharp major, it's the first chord, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Second chord is B minor, which is B, D, F sharp, which you know. And then the third chord is the first inversion of F sharp major that you know as well. It's A sharp, C sharp, F sharp. And then the fourth chord changes to something you don't know yet. Is this D diminished. It's a four-note chord. D, F, G sharp, B. And then the fifth chord is D sharp minor, that you, know, you know, which is D sharp, F sharp, A sharp. Okay, so yeah. With those five chords in mind, so F sharp major, B minor, first inversion of F sharp major, D diminished, and then D sharp minor. The two hands together goes like this, right hand starts first, D sharp and F sharp major together, B and B minor together, D sharp and first inversion together, G sharp and the D diminished together, F sharp and D sharp minor together, just like that. One more time, it goes like this, together, 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 Together. Just like that. Moving on to the second and last part of the section before it repeats. Right hand goes up to B, A sharp, and then G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, F sharp. Just like that. One more time, it goes B, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, F sharp. And that's the right hand. Okay, so that's that. Left hand, we have five chords here. The five chords are B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. 
First inversion of F sharp major again for the second chord, A sharp, C sharp, F sharp. And then the third chord, something that you know before, G sharp 7, which is G sharp, C, D sharp, F sharp. And then the fourth chord that you know as well is the B major with a C sharp bass, which is the C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, B. And then the last chord is F sharp major, which you know as well, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. So it's kind of like a similar ending to the other section. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, the part four of that section one. Yeah, but anyways, yeah, B minor, first inversion, A sharp major. Oh no, not A sharp major, F sharp major. Yeah, and then G sharp seven. And then B major, C, ba C sharp bass. F sharp major. Yeah, such a tongue twister with these uh, chords. Okay, B minor, first inversion, F sharp major, G sharp seven, uh, B major, C, yeah, B major, C sharp bass, <laughs> and F sharp major. Okay, so remember that. Okay, anyways, turn together goes like this. Uh, so B and B minor together, and then A sharp and the next chord together. And then right and goes G sharp and G sharp seven together. A sharp and the next chord together. F sharp and F sharp major together, just like that. One more time, it goes together, 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 together. So pretty fast chord changes, okay? So you have to prepare yourself, okay? But anyway, that's pretty much it, okay? So you just play it faster. And then repeat that for twice. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this. I actually did a cover on this with the improvisations and stuff. Well. Like it's an awesome song, I just did, made it more jumpy, just like how the original um, song kind of sounds like. It's so very happy, very nice, okay? But anyways, awesome stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Go ahead, check out all my other piano tutorials on my channel. I literally have thousands and thousands and thousands, no joke, that many, like multiple thousands of piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from on this channel. So check it out. Also check out my website if you want to learn more piano from me, learn how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music, and a lot of other stuff, okay, that I made in my piano courses. Anyway. Yeah, linked in the description below is bestpianomethod.com. Okay, as for now, that's pretty much it. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel, subscribe and see you next time.